Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. How was your day, people? Did you have a good day? Busy? Yes, no, maybe. Uh, Working. I have a good day. You had a good day, Araceli. That's good. Yes, I, uh, I, I have a good day in my house. Working in my house. Okay, good. Yes. Many people are working from their houses now. Yep. Okay. Christian, welcome back. Christian Omar. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you? Uh, finally, I'm. I was. I had a very good day. <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. So welcome back, everybody. What is today's date? 19th of August. 19th of August. That is correct. What's the year? 2020. 2020. Yes. Remember that Wednesdays, we have an extra hour for five people. So according to today's um, program, I have Rocio, Mercy, Araceli, Maria del Carmen, and Helen. So if you have questions, if you have doubts, and you want to ask me something, feel free to connect. Okay, so let's begin. It's August 19, 2020. Uh, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Do you yes. remember the topics? Yes, Ronald? We made a review uh, making sentence using would be better. Good. It would be better. How do you use would be better in a negative form? Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? No sería mejor. So you use that expression when you want to give your opinion, when you want to give suggestions, right? So imagine that you are, uh, you're going from one place to another and the distance is a little bit far. So you tell your friend, wouldn't it be better if we catch a taxi? Wouldn't it be better if we call your brother so he can give us a ride? So you're, you're using that expression to give suggestions uh, and, and, and to make requests, okay? What else did we mention yesterday? What else did we talk about yesterday? We practice uh, the simple past using there was and there were. Very good. We practice with the simple past by using there was and there were. Yes. What is the negative of there was? Wasn't. There wasn't. Uh huh. And the negative of there were? Weren't. There weren't. Uh huh. How do you make a questions using there was and there were? Uh, in English. How do you make questions? Was there? Yes. And were, were there. Okay, good. What's the difference between there was and there were? What's the main difference? Was you using with singular yes. nouns and right. were you use in plural good now. good right nice okay 
Um, anything else about yesterday? A any uh, other activities that we practiced? We speaking about animals. <laughs> okay, we were speaking about animals, yes. Do you remember some of the questions that you were practicing? Do you? Do you? Do you? No, you don't remember the questions? Yes. <laughs> what okay. is your favorite animal? Uh huh. What animals are dangerous? Okay. Good. Yes, it was a, it was a topic for you guys to develop more fluency and more accuracy. Any questions? What means? What means accuracy, teacher? Accuracy. Let me write this in the chat. Okay, fluency versus accuracy okay do you see the chat yes does anybody know the meaning of accuracy let me give you an example of a sentence that doesn't have accuracy i can say uh my brother don't have a car my brother don't have a car. Is the message clear? My brother don't have a car. Is the message clear? Mm. Yeah, the message is yes, clear, yes. but it's not accurate. What is the correct form to say my brother don't have a car? What my is the brother doesn't. Exactly. So accuracy means to speak well. It means to speak good. Mm. So the reason why we insist on you speaking, 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 is so you guys develop your fluency and your accuracy. Mm. Okay. What do you guys prefer, fluency or accuracy? Or both? I think both both yes both has to be your your target your your objective so you want to be fluent you want people to understand what you're saying and for that to happen you need to speak well so fluency and accuracy okay uh sophia accuracy accuracy no <laughs> accuracy yes Accuracy. So what if I say El Salvador is more small than Guatemala? Is that accuracy? El Salvador is more small than no. Guatemala. It's no, it's smaller. Not. It's smaller, exactly. So when you speak, the message might be there, but the question is, is it accurate? Mm -hmm. So you say, no, it's not more small, it's smaller. It's not more big, it's bigger, and so on. So that is accuracy, Ronald. Thanks. Okay. Anybody else has any questions or comments before we start with the first activity? Mm -hmm. Questions or comments? No? Okay, so let's start with the first activity. We are on page 23. Share 23. Book is right there. Okay, so uh, can you see my screen? Can you see the yeah. document? Yes. Okay, so yesterday we were discussing the first two questions. 
Is there a quality department uh, in your workplace? Do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? Uh, is there a quality department in your workplace class? Yes. Okay. So, um, and do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? In my case, I mean, in, in Atlantida Bank, there is a quality department. It calls out audit department and they observe procedures in order to prevent conflicts problems and so on okay all right good so uh quality department is is very important in a in a in a company because that's the only way you will know if people are working the way they should so now, can you mention examples of how quality takes place in, in, in different uh, workplaces? How does quality measure the level of your, of, your, of your work? Do they come in person? Do they speak with the client? Do they talk with other people to ask about you? How does the quality take place? In the in this case, the the book uh, show us uh, one example that is satisfaction. Okay. This is one example. Okay. Good. Good. Have Have you had the chance that when you call X company, they say uh, for quality control, this call can be recorded. <clears throat> Has that ever happened to you? that you yes. call a place and they say thank you for calling this company for quality uh uh supervision this call can be recorded so before they they before they ask you because they need your permission i think right right yes sometimes they ask you and sometimes they only tell you look this call will be recorded so they don't ask you for permission. They're just telling you that your voice is going to be famous, right? Okay, so uh, any questions with the first part? Any questions or comments? No? Okay, so now we're going to fill in the spaces, the blank spaces with the information that we have here. Uh -huh. uh, right here. Uh -huh. Does everybody have a copy of the book? Yes. Okay. So just in case you don't have it, you cannot open it right now huh something strange is happening retry retry okay anyways um i'm having issues with my cell phone so if you can get a a screenshot from here from part two and maybe someone else can share it in the whatsapp chat somebody Volunteer? Only one volunteer, only one. Don't fight. <laughs> it's, it's not responding. Huh. Can someone take an, a, a screenshot from here and share it in the in the chat? Yes, teacher. Josue shared the picture, teacher. What is it? Josue shared right now the picture okay. in the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So it's my, so my internet is the problem because I guess I'm going to have to okay, power off shut down okay anyways so let me make the groups 
Um, so we have seated, dishes, dining, taking, and server. What is the meaning of seated? Seating. Uh -huh. What is the meaning of seated? Are, are, are you seated at this moment or are you standing? Seated. You're seated. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of dishes? What is the yeah. synonym of dishes? For the dish. Main. The food. Main. Okay, good. Dining, what is dining? Dining means to eat. Dining mm -hmm. means to eat. What about taking? What's the meaning uh, of taking? Meets, meets get something. Okay, and server? What is a synonym of server? Give? Uh, but server is a person. Ah, wait, waiter. 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 What if it's a woman? Waiter. Waiter. Very good. All right. So you need to use um, this vocabulary in the spaces that we have here. So please indicate your level of agreement or disagreement with the following statements. So um, let me make the groups. Uh -huh. Create, add, add, and here we go. Araceli. Number one. Yes. We were seated. We were seated. Exactly. Are, are you in charge of the of the department? Yes. Okay. You live in Sonsonate? No, I live in Santa Ana. I live in Santa Ana. How 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 long how long take it how long take does it, it take you how 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 you ask cuánto tiempo te toma en llegar how long does it, it take to, you to take you does it take uh, you or you can say how no. long do you take how long? Okay. How long uh, do you I take? Have to tra I have to travel every day. For the moment, one, one 30 minutes. One hour and 30 minutes? Yes, one, one hour and 30 minutes. You're in Santana right now? Yes. And, and where do you work? In Association Arape, in Sonsonate. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yes, teacher. You do you go by car? Mm, the car is is is, the, is in front of my my father, teacher. Okay, <laughs> but you drive. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. 
So your your co-workers with uh, uh, Coralia. Coralia. Coralia is is your co-worker? Mm. No teacher. No. No. No, I think she works for Aldeas. I think. Aldeas Infantiles. Uh huh. Yeah, it's different. It's yes. Different. Okay. All right. Good. Very good. Okay, teacher. This survey, you you complete it when you go to a restaurant. Yes. Am I, am I okay? Dean of the um, Dean dining dining. Did you finish? No, no we, we are yet. working. <laughs> okay, very good. And on the third sentence. All right, very good. Teacher. Yes, sir. What is prom promptly, promptly? Quickly. No, the number one, we were promptly. Yes, quickly. Ah, is that? That's the meaning. Promptly ah. and quickly are, are synonyms. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Fast, yes. fast. Exactly, and... fast. Ah, okay, okay. We oh, have, okay. What, uh, what do we have to do? Uh, use the vocabulary in part two yes. to fill in the blanks. Uh, okay, seated, dishes, dining, taking, and server. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. No, 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 no. Uh, sorry, let me see. Yes, now I'm seeing your Okay, screen. so you have seated dishes, dining, taking, and server. So you have yeah. to use this vocabulary and use it in one, two, three, four, and seven. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Go ahead. Oh, a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that she was like a, she had 25 or 23, no, something like that. Aries. But now, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I think. Yes. You have one baby. I have one baby. Mm -hmm. Baby girl or baby boy? Baby girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. And you, Mercy? I am 26 years old. Okay. You guys are Younger. very young. Yeah. <laughs> you have a whole life in front of you. How do you say traga años, teacher? Uh, you age well. Age well. You age well. Age well. So, so the translation. Oh, bueno. So, uh, you, so you the translation is usted envejece bien. That means huh. that you appear to be younger than what you really are. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so, so Jimena is age well. No. Age well. She ages well. Yes. Ah, okay. 
Let me write it in the chat. Let me write it in the chat. U H well. Okay, third person. Okay. U H well. If you're talking about the third person singular, you will say my sister H is well. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And how old are you, Helen? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. You see, you guys are very young. <laughs> <laughs> with a whole life in front of you. Very good. Yeah, we do. We have five blanks and five options. Right. Okay. I am, yes. All right. In this, yes. in this case, in this case. Dining. Huh? Dining. I think I think will be a, a seated dishes. 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 Which, which number are you doing? Number, number four. four. Okay. Could be. And the last one. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi. Hello. We, we finished, teacher. You guys finish? Yeah. What is the answer for number one? Seated. 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 What about number two? Server. Server. Three. Taking. Taking. Number four. Dining. 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 Are, you, are you sure? Dining or dining? Dining, dining. 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 Are you sure? Dining. Dining. Okay, you need yes. to, uh Okay, and what is number seven? Dishes. Dishes. Mm -hmm. You need to change the last two. Okay. They have to switch. Okay. Because you say, our server coordinated the timing of the dishes perfectly. And then with number seven, considering everything, our dining experience was a good value. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. We so, so you need to make corrections with the last two. The rest is fine. Um. Okay. Okay. You guys finished? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Um, uh huh. What? Are, uh huh. Uh, what is the meaning of a um, timing? Dining. Uh huh. Coordinated the timing. Uh, dining or timing? Timing. Uh, timing. Tea. Timing oh, number is four. When, okay, our server coordinated the timing. So he calculated the time well. Timing is related with time. Mm -hmm. So in uh, other words, our server coordinated the time. So timing okay. is, is, is related with time. Yep. Okay. All right. So let me see this here. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Will be dishes? No. Uh, dishes is correct. Okay. Dishes is correct. Dishes. Mm hmm. All right, all right. So let's wait for everybody to come back. Um, mm -hmm. Three, six, eight. All right, so um, what is the answer for number one, class? We were seated rumply. We were seated. We were seated. 
seated Seat. promptly. Yes, Prompt. we were seated promptly. Very good. Yeah. What is number two? The server was there to take our order quickly. Good, good, very good. What about number three? Taking. Uh huh. The server was friendly the and patient. Was friendly and patient when taking our order. Okay, good. What about number four? Our server coordinated the timing of the pitches. Very good, very good. And what is number seven? Considering? Considering everything, our dining experience was at a good value. Very good, nice, good. Okay, any questions or comments with that exercise? The pronunciation teacher. Uh, of which one? Uh, uh, promptly, prom promptly. 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 Yes. Promptly. promptly. Yes. Um, what is the meaning of promptly? Rapidamente. Yeah, quickly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Prom Okay. 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 Thanks. Any other questions or comments? No? Okay. So some of you guys were working in triads and some of you guys were working even in groups of four. So right now I will assign you to work in pairs. So you guys answer. Uh, let me show you this here. So you guys answer part three. Fair work. I need a volunteer to read the question, please. Mm -hmm. Our satisfaction service a good way to make sure procedures are followed in uh, in the restaurant. Okay. And this the second question, Wendy. Do you consider placing poster about procedures in a strategic place with the help employees follow those procedures? Okay, good. All right. So are the questions clear? Because you guys will be discussing these questions. So the first question, are satisfaction service a good way to make sure procedures are followed in a restaurant? Yes, no. Explain why. And do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic places will help employees follow those procedures? Teacher. Yes, sir. What is satisfaction survey? Survey. Yeah. Encuesta de satisfacción. Yeah, encuesta de satisfacción. Mm, okay. Right. So when you visit a place, they ask the client how he or she felt while this person was visiting. So was the worker kind? Was he fast? Did he use the correct vocabulary? And things like okay. that. Thanks. All right, good. Anybody else has uh, other questions? No? Okay, so let me split your groups so move to room five move to room five move to room six move to room six and change Change, exchange, exchange, and I guess that is it. All right, so here we go.
Okay. All right, all right. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. I know the end the exact Okay, no problem. You only need to answer the two questions, Araceli. So if you think that satisfaction service is a good idea, and okay. also if you consider that putting posters in your workplace is also convenient. So it's only about speaking. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, part two okay. in page 23. No, part three, page oh. 23. Okay. I think satisfaction surveys are a good option. Are a good option because they help to to know the bar uh, and the good inside the restaurant teacher. Good. Yes. That's a that's a good opinion. What do you think, Christian? What is your opinion? Do you think uh, satisfaction surveys uh, is a good idea? So like if they ask you, Christian, what is your opinion about our service is it good is it bad yeah this is important uh, because uh, uh, service uh, ser uh, quality service um, very good uh, for the customer so it's good. It's a good idea for the customer. Of the customer. Okay. Okay. Can 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 help employ the restaurant and, and generate and generate more more customer. Yeah, generate more customers. That is correct. Generate more customers. Yes. Very good. I don't know. This is an example. In in my case, in the Cameron. The client, uh, some client lies in the surveys. Is not not saying no all the time. Is not correct with the information. Mm, right, I understand. But when you buy a, a off, ¿cómo se dice promoción? Uh, a special. Promotion. A special. A special. An offer. Uh huh. Special offer. offer. When you buy an offer, you can read uh, the little, little words and they put uh, some conditions? Restriction, conditions. Uh -huh. Restriction. And that is the problem because if you don't read that condition, you after make a complaint. Problem. Mm -hmm. Complaint. Yeah, yeah. When you make a problem, yes. Mm -hmm. For me, is the, for me the survey is a um, is a a reference for is only a reference. It's not a point for following the the correct procedures. Good this opinion. is my 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 opinion. Mm -hmm. All right. What is your opinion, Maria? Uh, I think it's a great idea because um, uh, con con eso, o sea, con 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 lo que con con lo que las encuestas, um, the manager or or the staff. Eh, pueden mejorar el servicio? They can improve the service. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. All right. With the survey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm agree with you. I agree. I'm agree no. with you. I agree. Oh. Just I agree. Yes, you don't need to mention a verb to be. Ah, okay. So you say I agree. I agree. Uh huh. Okay. Thanks. Good. Do you mm -hmm. consider placing poster about prost? In your, head, in your head, on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> All of the same. Fisher, if yes. I don't want to say chef, how can I say cocinero? You can say cook. Cook. Cocinero. Yes. So oh. you say, my sister, she's a good cook. My sister is a chef. So it can be oh, a verb okay. and it can also be a noun. So, a noun. Yes. No. So, no. so you say, uh, Helen says, the cook that we have in the hotel is really good. Okay, okay. So, Perfect. cook and chef are synonyms. That's cook new for chef. me. Okay, good. Me too. All right. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That is only That's for idea. the business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. But the employees. Never, never read, read the, the poster in the wall. Never. <laughs> <laughs> never put attention about that. <laughs> exactly. The, the business uh, teacher, how do you say uh, curarse en salud? Uh, you prevent. Oh, prevent. Uh, prevent. You prevent. <laughs> prevent. The, the business prevent with put the different poster in in the wall uh, with um, procedures, missions, objectives. Uh -huh. uh, only prevent, but the employees never read that that poster. For example, I say to Maria and, and Rocio in, in my office, uh, there are two posters with mission and objective, uh -huh. but I don't know that memorize which is the mission of the camera. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, like the, like you said, uh, companies, they put posters for prevention. Like, look, we have yes. the, the information. Everybody can see it. Everybody can read it. But... <laughs> Yeah, like you said, but if they ask you, uh, Christian, what is the vision and mission of the camera? And, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> right. I consider that uh, when somebody make a mistake, that is, you look every day the mission, you look right. every day the... The, the... Um, the warnings, the signals, the messages. Yes. All right, very good. Review the call and make sure that I I do my, my job. So it's through the satisfaction service, depends of the clients. Yes, I agree too. Because um, 
Me too. In in the case for the all events we have to do, it's complicated because we have to be sure in everything is okay. But when something fail in a big event, we have to do a discount for all clients <clears throat> or make a, or call the client and say, hey, I give out, I give to this um, man for your next event for, um, I don't know how to say, fidelizar el cliente. Fidelizar. Mm -hmm. sí. uh, you, you make the client loyal. Loyal. Oh, okay. Loyal. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have to make the client loyal for the whole year. Uh, specifically, if the client is bigger. Right. Yes. Yeah, if the client is bigger, the company mm -hmm. makes more money, more profit. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. But the customer is not always right. Exactly. Be because the companies uh, follow procedures and pol pol politicas? Politics. politics, politics, and rules. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Good, very good. People, for example, I don't know how to say black people. <laughs> I don't know if it's <laughs> correct to say that. <laughs> But oh. they, I think they speak very, very fast. And oh, for me, yes. I no, think it's more Jamaican. difficult to understand. Jamaicanos, ¿cómo se dice? Jamaicanos. Los Jamaicanos. Jamaicanos. Yeah, Jamaicans, they, they have a strong physical. accent. They have yes. a strong accent. And I say teacher correct black people. Or sure, I, sure. Or, yeah. Uh, well, it depends. If you're talking about people from the United States, mm -hmm. people usually say African Americans. Afri oh, uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. but black people is 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 valid too. It's it's how they classify that ethnic group. But no, it's not racist. No, it's Rac not racist. No. Oh, okay. No, it's not racist. So you say uh, Michael Jordan is a black basketball player. No, it's not racist. Yeah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what is racist is the N word. Do you know the N word? Nigga. Uh -huh. That is racist. Oh, okay. That is racist. Yes. So, yeah, so Jamaicans, they have a strong accent. So you have to be like paying close attention when they speak. Yep. Yes. All right, so. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. All right, did you finish with the discussion part in part three? Yes, we already finished. Okay, so do you think that satisfaction surveys are a good way to make sure procedures are followed? uh we agree that it's a loss of time okay because if you have a, a complaint or you have a problem with the with the service you can uh, stand up and talk with the with the manager it's more easier it's easier it's easier uh-huh uh, so, if someone have a problem, it's better to explain the problem that uh, fill a, a survey because you can explain it the way you want it. Okay. Uh, yes, Sophia. Yes. No, no, not con, no consider that it's necessary a survey, but you establish the a good procedures because the customers don't don't are objective uh -huh. with your answer yes if 
if they have a problem or inconformity? Yes. How do you... Uh, they yeah, if, if only they're not say, satisfied. Uh -huh. Yes, they only say not, not necessary a survey. Okay. All right. Good, good. And what about placing posters? Do you think putting posters on the walls are, uh, are is a good idea? Uh, yeah. Yes, or in, a strate or in a strategic place, but it's important that the employees know the procedures and your limits because they resolve for themselves, not necessarily ask for the manager or their, your co-worker. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Good answers. Thank you. All right. Three, part three, three part. Pair word, this thing. Yeah, pair word. Did you finish with part three? Did you finish uh, answering the questions? Yeah, yes, teacher. Okay, so yes. I think it's time to go back to the main session. Yes, Helen. Mm. All right. So I heard different answers from you guys. Uh, some of you are saying that satisfaction surveys uh, is not necessary, that you can ask to speak with the manager or the supervisor, so the surveys are not uh, a good idea. But other people says, yeah, it's a good idea because they make sure that the workers are following the procedures. And what about the posters? Do you think putting the posters on the walls will help, uh, will make the work easier? What do you think? Do you think that posters are necessary? They need to be visible? Yes. Uh huh. Do you think they're effective? They can make the way to work more uh, easier because can the the employees can I don't, I don't know how to say it uh, uh, revisar check the the posters uh -huh. and know what is the procedures for the for the problem so if a client have a I complain about the the pool because it's late. Uh, you could uh, offer a dessert, offer a discount, uh, offer and um, I don't know a uh, uh, free chips or a free snack like a fried a fry, fry, French, French fries. French fries. Uh huh. So uh, a way that you can glad the client, but. Uh, avoid the, the the I don't know how to say it la preguntadera I don't know the asking the asking to the manager uh huh okay so, all right teacher uh, yes Fernando I saw I saw in restaurant not all employees are are full over of the procedures. Placing poster in a specific place for the procedures is a good is a good idea. Okay, right. How do you say recordatorios in English? Let me reminder. Write Very good. Reminder. Reminder. So posters can be seen reminder. as reminders. Yes. So every time you see the poster it reminds you about the things that you need to do right okay anybody else wants to share opinion 
Depends, teacher. Sorry, go ahead. Uh -huh. No, take it. No problem. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Well, in, in my experience, <laughs> it's not working because the young people don't read. And... Uh, Millennials. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I think don't work it. For me, don't work it. So it's not a good idea? No. <laughs> okay. Rocio, For me too, teacher. So you have the same <laughs> opinion, Jimena? Yes, I think it's part uh, of the employees remember the procedures because if you put the, the poster, maybe you you doubt of your seguridad, security. Security, uh-huh. And, and I think it's important to pay attention when you training the manual and another things. <laughs> okay, good, good, nice. Rocio, you wanted to say something? <laughs> we are talking about this this topic with Christian and we discussed that the the poster everybody looked the poster but nobody put attention in that information. Okay. And the the I don't remember her name. Stephanie say that millennials don't read, not always read. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so you think that posters are very superficial? Yes. We consider it that. Okay, so they're used as decoration or ornaments, mm -hmm. maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can be. <laughs> Good. I think the poster use, uh, is useful for the new people. Okay. That, that's a good point. It's, it's useful for new people. Yes. So especially if the new people are quiet or shy and they don't like to ask, the posters are, are a good tool. Yes. Okay, good. Anybody else wants to share opinion? No? Okay, so let's check attendance to see who's here and who is not. So... Let me check this here. Sophia Stephanie? Present. Good. Uh, Fernando Arturo? Present, teacher. Very good. Uh, Coralia? I haven't seen Coralia today. She's not here. Huh. Okay. Uh, Ronald Humberto? Here. Okay. Uh, Katia Marcela? Present. Very good. Jimmy Rodriguez? Present. Good. Uh, Christian Alexander? Present. Good. Uh, Josué Edgardo? Present. Hmm. Jimena Alexandra? Present. Good. Samuel Rosales. Present. Okay. Rocio. Rocio. Present, teacher. Okay. Mercy Carolina. Present. Very good. Araceli de Santos. Present. Teacher. Okay, very good. Maria del Carmen. Present, okay, very good. Helen Lopez. Here. Okay. Uh, Luis. Present, teacher. Good. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Here, teacher. Very good. Christian Omar. Present teacher. Okay, he's back. Okay. Wendy Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay. And Magdalena is absent again. Okay, so I have 
one, two people that are absent today. All right, good. Okay, uh, any questions or comments before we change activity? No? Okay. Uh, let's talk about something that everybody was at one time in your life. Can you think about something that you were one time in your life? It air. Huh? It air. It it earth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, when did people eat earth, uh, Samuel? When they are uh, babies, I think. I don't know how to say it. Good. When they only have one year. Okay. And I... Okay. Now, what is your opinion about children? My opinion. Uh, anybody's opinion. Fernando, do you have children? No, teacher. Maria doesn't have children. Wendy doesn't have children. Stephanie, do you have children? No. No, teacher. Marcela, you don't have no, children. No, yet. No, I don't have children. Okay, Mercy doesn't have children. Jimena, no, I know I you have a child. Yes, I have a child, <laughs> and I work with children. <laughs> okay. Ronald, you don't have children. What is that, teacher? Okay, so that means no. <laughs> Louis, how many children do you have? I have two children. Two children. Jimmy, do you have children? And you, teacher, how many children do you have? I have five. Five wow. children. Yeah, five. <laughs> oh my God. Five children. How do you say? How do you say? Tuvo todos los que nosotros no tuvimos. Yeah. <laughs> I have I have five children and one grandchild. Okay. Yeah. Rocío, you don't have children. Not teacher. Cristian Omar, how many children do you have? I have two children. Okay. Josué Gardo, do you have children? Not yet. Not yet. Samuel, no, do you no have yet. children? No, I don't have. Okay, Sophia, Stephanie? No. Christian Alexander? Not yet, teacher. Not yet. Helen, do you have children? No, I don't have. Okay, and Araceli, how many children do you have? Yes, I have two children. Two children. So I guess that we have only Jimena. Mm -hmm. Luis, Christian Omar, and Araceli, and myself. Okay, Boy. so let me see where are these questions. They are right here. Okay, do you see the questions? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. so let me send this image. So this is your space where you guys can answer these questions in any way you want. However, try to be accurate when you're giving your answers. So with this exercise, since I have more people right now, I will assign you to work in pairs, seven and eight, seven and eight, okay. Move to room seven. Move to room seven. Teacher. Yes. What does mean mm, spoiled now a day? Okay. Does anybody know the meaning of the word spoiled? No. Mal creado. Uh, okay. Spoiled. Is, right. When the father and the mother, they say yes to everything. Mm. So I want ice cream. Okay, here is your ice cream. I want to go to the park. Okay, let's go to the park. 
I want those shoes. Okay, I'll buy you those shoes. So when the father and the mother say yes to everything, the children are considered to be spoiled. Okay, thanks. Okay. And what is the meaning about children should be seen and uh -huh. not hear? Okay. Okay, the expression says, los niños deberían ser vistos y no escuchados. Oh, so, okay. verlos, pero no oírlos. So, do you agree with that expression? Yes. No. Okay. No. <laughs> nope. It, 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 it depends on, on how much patience uh, you have with, with, with kids. So, some people might say, yeah, and some people might say, no. Okay, now it's time to change. So I will exchange this person here. I will exchange this person here. I will exchange this person here. Exchange here. Uh, exchange here. And let's see. All right, so here we go. So answer those questions in the best way possible. Here we go. difficult because I in the moment when I stay with my child I to say what they do hello teacher hi which one are you discussing right now which number the first one the, the first. first one the first okay good Anna and my with children. Which one are you discussing? The uh, first one. The first one. Yes. If we are good with children. Okay. Are you good with children, Ronald? I think I are good. Uh, uncle, for example. Uh huh. Always, I, I, I play. I always, I have played with children. So my my question is, if some, if one day I I will have children. So, okay. but in my case, I think are good with children. Okay. Are, are you considering to have children in the future, Ronald? 
uh, maybe teacher if i if i search a better job maybe because i think uh, to have children is very expensive very, so very it's a, it's a it's a it's a responsibility and i would like to to give all that he needs for example right right and you mercy are you good with children yes i'm good with children do you like children I, yeah i like do you have nephews and nieces yes i have three nephews no four nephews and why one niece. niece okay are they little or teenagers what are uh, their ages the girl is a teenager okay and the my nephews are little okay and they like their tia yeah they love me <laughs> okay <laughs> that's the idea that children love you back yeah <laughs> okay good mm -hmm. yes okay. i think a uh, three is is a sorry is a good number three children okay in my family we are three uh two brothers my father and my mom is it's very good. Yeah. yeah. Three is Two. good. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Two is very, is very, how do you say poquitos? Uh, two is too few. Ah, okay. Few. Two is too few. Uh-huh. And five is expensive. Very expensive. Okay. <laughs> do, do you know uh, that? I, <laughs> I don't. I don't have sister. Only brothers. Okay. Uh, only. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Only brothers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Only brothers. Yeah. When you have children, you know, like you work, you receive your salary, but everything goes to your children. You know, like in my case, I never think about myself. I'm just thinking about okay. I have to pay this, I have to buy them that, and blah, 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 and, and, and things like that. Yes. Need yeah. to work more, teacher. <laughs> you know, especially with this emergency, you know, because before the emergency, I had a lot of work, and I was working very much. I was working very much. But with this emergency, the classes went down. So my income was reduced uh, uh, significantly. So uh, it's a, uh, but we are what we are. We do what we can, you know. <laughs> yes. So that's 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 something we have to deal with. All right. Maybe. Teacher. Yes. You came in the precise moment. How do okay. you say desvelar or How something like that? Okay. How do you say quedarse? Stay. stay. Desvelarse, you say stay up. Ah. Oh. Ah. Stay up all stay night. Up. Stay up all night. So if you say, Francisco, you look tired. Yeah. You know, uh, I have stayed up for the past four days. Me he desvelado los últimos cuatro días. So stay uh, up. Stay up. Stay up. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Stay up. Mm -hmm. Okay, question two. Do you agree with the expression children? Children? Teacher, I, I, I have a doubt. Yes, Stephanie. The, the pronoun is children or children? No. If it's singular, you say child. Child. child if it's plural you say children children okay it's child, like person children. and people it, right like it person is and one people. person 
If we, they are two, are people. Right, right. So child, children. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Children should. And loud. No. So loud, exactly. Teacher. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. Um, how can I say berrinche in English? Um, fuss. 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 F U double S. F U double. Okay, fuss. Yes. Okay. Or or you can say um. You will be grounded. Va a estar castigado because you were acting. Acting okay. like it, it's not normal with the with the kid. So you can also say that one too. Okay. You will be grounded because grounded. you were acting in the store. Okay. All right. Thank okay. you. Nah. It's terrible. Oh. <laughs> I remember once my sister is taking care to my little cousin and she, he's, he was sick and I don't know how to say vomitar, but vomit. he vomit. vomit. He, he wants to vomit and when he does, I shall say, hey, hey, <laughs> take care and I run away. <laughs> this is the I can see babies vomit. I don't know. It's, uh, so, so you wouldn't be a good babysitter, Wendy? No, I don't like the the childrens and okay. at all. Okay, all right. <laughs> what about you, Marcela? If baby, yes. You, like if if, if uh, would you consider yourself to be a good babysitter? No. No. No, I don't. I okay. don't like children. Okay. <laughs> Do you consider uh, that you will have children in the future? Maybe. No, like five maybe years. not. Oh, okay. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Because I, I used to say the same thing. Like, you know what? I'll never get married and I'll never have children. And now I'm married and I have five children. You know. But I think in the future, married, but uh, I don't know, I, I don't want to have children. Which age do you have uh, your first child? I was, I was 19 years old. Hmm. And I have 27 years old. I okay. He's <laughs> okay. So everybody, have... <laughs> everybody, you know, has a different uh time to to start having babies but i guess that i began yes. uh early too early because yes, i was only but, 19. but you uh but you was ready to be to become a father uh <laughs> no, but yes. i'm not sure about that <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't ready, but you know, like okay, so now she's here, so let's let's take let's care of the it. baby, right, right. So I am twenty nine years old, and I don't have children. Right, right. So <laughs> every, everybody everybody has a different age, you know. So you know, I was forty. I was forty five. When I had my last son, oh, really, forty-five years old. Yeah. Which age have you last children? Uh, my last child, uh -huh. he was born when I was forty-five. Oh my God. Yeah. So my first baby came when I was nineteen, and my uh -huh. last baby came when I was forty-five. And which age was more difficult when you have the first child or when you have the last child? That's that's a good question. I think, um, you know, when you're 19 years old, uh, sometimes you don't know what you want in life. You know, like uh, you're mm -hmm. not prepared uh, financially speaking, uh, speaking emotionally. So I think uh, it has pros and cons. So maybe with the first one, I was 
I needed to be more mature. Yes. You know? So the baby, you know, they're always welcome, but I think that if the mother and the father are better prepared, that's better for the baby. Yes, I think so. Yeah, but... so, yeah, so I guess that all, all the ages are okay, but when you're 19, I think you have to be a little bit more prepared. Yes, but you have a lot of energy to raise your child, right? Yeah, you need to have energy. You need <laughs> to I have energy. Have yeah. Okay. Yes, All right. The question is, hello, hello, teacher. Which question are you discussing? The number four. Number four. When does a child become an adult? Yes. Uh -huh. What is your answer to that question? In my case, uh, I think I, I think when uh, when the children is if eighteen years. Okay. So when when the person is eighteen years old that is the sign that the child has become an adult is is that your answer jimmy so the yes. the the person's age determines if the person is is an adult already um, that's what you're saying do you understand the finally uh, yes so what what you're saying is that age determines when a person has become an adult age the dogs the dogs age adults la edad determina cuando una persona se ha convertido en adulto yes uh, um, uh, about the no um, como se dice uh, según según las leyes del país okay according to the countries laws or regulations according to the laws according to the laws okay now do you what what do you think is more important age or personality uh, personality personality personality, sir. personality. what I do think you think christian I... the opinion is 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 personality so personality is more important than the age. Yes. Okay. I Do think teacher, uh, 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 children um, um, become uh, an adult when children learn to uh, be responsible this um, follow um, instructions directions. Okay. Good. Good. That's a good point. When a person is learned to follow instructions, directions, then the person is ready to be an adult. Ready. All right, good, good. That's a, that's a good idea. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Which we talk, question? We talk about my, my daughter. Oh, how old is your daughter, Jimena? One and a half. One and a half. She's baby right now. Yeah, one and a half is still little. Little, yes. Teacher. Yeah, at that age, they depend on the Hello. parents very, yes. very much, especially yes. on the mother. Ah, yes, teacher. In this moment, she has mamitis. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, with this emergency, uh, you spend more time with your daughter, Jimena. All the day, teacher. All the day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is is your husband with you in the house? Yes, but I don't know why she prefers to stay with me. Uh huh. <laughs> it's, it's, because it's, you are the you, uh, because you are a mom. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's difficult for me, for example, uh, check the homework of my students. 
it's very difficult, but yeah. in some cases I check and I have them in in my legs. On your legs. Tengo uh -huh, Yeah. And I check the homework. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, but that's very normal. Children, they usually prefer the mother. You know, in, in my case, my mm -hmm. children, they're always looking for their mother. Like, where's my mom? Uh, and, and imagine that the mother goes to the store. She says, what time is my mom coming back? And I said, wait, she's coming back. <laughs> when I go out, they're not asking about not me. Not asking for you. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, dad, you're here. So. Yes. I... So it's it's normal that they prefer uh, the mother, the than, mother. Than, than the father. Than the father, exactly. Right. Ellos saben. Ellos, eh... They know. How do you say? They know. They know. They know. Eh, how do you say, teacher? Estamos pensando. Eh, <laughs> berrinche. Berrinche. Uh, or, or, or chinear. Okay, chinear <laughs> is carry. You carry the... Ah, carry, carry. Yes. Carry. And, and uh, berrinche is when they're fussing. F-U-S-S. F-U-S-S. Yes. And why? F no. No. F-U-S-S. Fuss. Ah, Fuss. Okay. Fuss. Fuss. Uh-huh. Okay. Thank you. So, Christian, you were okay. saying that they know. They uh -huh. know when... When he when make does a, a when does a, a fuss a fuss 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 yes the, the children uh -huh. the children no are very intelligent in sure. that in that case sure in that case but um some 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 people some fathers some families think about the children no. No thinking, no, no, don't are intelligent, but is the contrast, is the, lo, lo yeah, it's the opposite, it's the opposite, it's the, it's the opposite, it's the opposite because the, in my case, I see my, my children every day and, and uh, they, they see, they see my, my expression, they see my, my, well, they see all, and and they they know they know cómo eh, cómo actuar con cada quien o con cada yes. familiar. Ellos yes. actúan diferente con cada they uno de los familiares. They study you. They study everybody, and exactly. they analyze each person. Exactly, they analyze it they analyze which person of my family exactly so they know uh who in the family can accept them uh, uh in different forms you know so they they study exactly. people and they're very smart exactly very very smart okay uh, I I uh, let me let me uh, to learn, and and I can't I can't learn a uh, a uh, how do you say comportarse behave behave uh -huh. because uh, 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 gynecologa teacher uh, gynecologist. Gynecologist. Yes, gynecologist. Gynecologist, explain me with the the cause is the the diet for oh. for the for the woman. Uh huh. Of when the, the woman. woman is pregnant, uh -huh. uh, they have to follow a specific diet for, for healthy fat. diet. Uh huh. F uh, fast food is 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 uh. Occasional. Ah, okay, just for occasion. Uh -huh. uh, 
for occasion de que no se desarrolla el cerebro. Ajá. The brain doesn't develop. The brain doesn't brain. develop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, teacher. Which number are you discussing? The, uh, the number 10. Number 10. Can you read yes. number 10, please? Okay. okay. What do you think? What do you think children worry about most? Uh-huh. I think uh, when children are very young, they only care about playing, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's the only concern that they have, playing, playing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, maybe the friends and the Boys. classmates yeah. playing video games uh -huh. do you guys play video games Josué do you play video games mm, eh, a little eh, in my cell phone okay uh -huh, class royal okay what but about you Fernando do you play video games I like I like play video game teacher okay I, I used to play video games when I was uh, like when I was little from 10 to 14 years old approximately <laughs> I was addicted to 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 video games uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> my but brother not, <laughs> not, but not anymore yes. but I, I was very addicted seriously Really? How, how old are you, Josue? Uh, I have 31. You're 31. And you, Fernando? 24. 24, yeah. Do you yes. guys remember Machine Land? Sorry? Do you remember Machine Land? Uh, no, but no. I, I played in, in machines. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh um it's yeah. very very yeah cool. it'd be very very exciting <laughs> yes yeah because my mother she would give me money in the morning she says uh this is for the transportation and this is for your break and i said thank you uh -huh. mother so when my mother went to work i went to machine land and spent all my money all my money <laughs> so i came back to the house without anything nothing in my pockets so i would ask the bus drivers for a ride say hey, can you give me a ride says get in get in get in <laughs> so i was i was i was very addicted to to video games <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i i like a uh, metal slug okay uh -huh. do, do you guys remember atari yes yes Atari was my first uh, video game. Yeah. Uh -huh, okay. So we had Atari in the house, and also uh -huh. we used to spend a lot of time in Machine Land, downtown uh -huh. San Salvador. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Teacher, Atari, Atari, I was only on the cell phone. No. No. Atari used to play it with the television. But the control in the console was like very unique, you know, like uh, <laughs> there's no sophistication there. So it was very rude, okay. but, it was fun. <laughs> but it was fun. So, yeah. but I don't play video games anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So my brother you... like to, my uh -huh. brother like to play Cal Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Okay. okay. Yes, teacher. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, video games are cool if you know how to uh, how to control it. You know. So it's yes. it's, it's okay. That is difficult. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's it's very addictive. Yes. Very addictive. Yes. Okay, so let me visit one more room.
right. Uh, any questions about uh, our last activity? Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No? In the case of is, is spoiled. Spoiled, yes. Spoiled. Okay. Spoiled. You can spell it the way you see it there, but you can also spell it with ED at the end. So it's got two possible uh, spellings. Uh -huh. Spoiled. Spoiled. Yes. All right. Any questions or comments? Me, teacher. Yes. How do you say um, rabietas, berrinches? Uh, fuss. F U double -S, S. Let me see this here. You see the chat, uh, Jimena? Fuzz. Yes, thank you. Okay, good. So when when a child wants something, like you go to the store, they say, oh, I want to, please buy me that. If you say no, they start fussing and fighting. Like, oh, you're a bad mother, you're a bad father, and things like that. It's, it's common that the people use a, a synonym, in this case, a tan, tantrum? 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 Yes, tantrum is also used. Tantrum. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, any questions or comments before we go to our last activity? Remember that for today, I have... Rocio, Mercy, Araceli, Maria del Carmen, and Helen. So if you have questions, if you want to speak about something, I'm going to be here from 10 to 11 uh, p.m. All right, so let's go to uh, our last activity, which is here. All right. Do you guys see part four? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can somebody please read the instructions? Use a dictionary to find the meaning of the words below. Thank you. So when you have this situation that you need to know the meaning of, of, of vocabulary, uh, how do you look for the meaning? Do you go to an English English dictionary? Do you use an English Spanish dictionary? What do you do? English English. English. Okay. Do you have a dictionary in particular? Larousse. Okay. Someone else? Cambridge dictionary. Cambridge, okay. Another dictionary, people? I use a word reference. Word reference, good. Anybody else wants to share the dictionary that you guys use? No? Okay, so let me show you this. Do you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, what's the name of the, of the site? Today. What is the name of the dictionary? Oh, we are still oh. looking at the, the activity. Okay, hold on. My bad, sorry. Okay. Do you see it now? Yes. Yes, okay. yes. The the Oxford, the Oxford. Oxford. Oxford 3000. 3000. Now, this dictionary, as you guys can see, it goes in alphabetical order. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for example, if you say uh, academic, let's say academic. When you see academic, you see the, the pronunciation and the meaning of, of mm -hmm. the words. So, academic. 
So let's go back to if you say acknowledge, acknowledge. Can you hear when when I click there? Nope. No. no? Okay, let me see this here. Can you hear now? No. No, I can. Okay, anyways, so this is only a suggestion of a dictionary that you can use. It's very complete. And uh, it's uh, another option that you guys have to look for the vocabulary that you need to look Thank you, for. teacher. Okay, so let me... Okay, so what is the first word? Dispenser. 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 What is the second word? Dirt. 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 Number three? Designated. 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 Number four? Think. 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 And number five? Truly. 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 Again, again, please. Truly. 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 So number one is dispenser. dispenser. Number two is dirt. dirt. Number three is designated. Okay. Number four is sink. And number five is through. Okay. okay. So uh, I want you to look for the definition of the words. And uh, so if you go to Oxford 3000, uh, Webster, or any dictionary, you find the definition. But try to write the definition using your own words. So how would you explain the word dispenser in your own words? What's a dispenser? A machine that how many or different um, uh -huh. different things or or sanitizing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay, a, a sanitizer, it's got okay. sanitizing. Or like uh, Stephanie was saying, you know, it's a machine that has different, so it's good. So let me, so your mission is to find a definition for each of these five words. So I will break out rooms. So there you have the move to room nine. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> so let's I'm going to use this dictionary <laughs> <laughs>
Dispense. I, I look for, but I I can I believe that I confuse with the words because dispense according the the no, dictionary of dispenser. A machine for a machine or container holding money, brings paper. The two mm. option is a person who, who provides something for people. Mm -hmm. And three, a person who prepares medicine in a dispensary. Okay. In, in this okay. case, um, we're talking about something material, not a person. I'm the number one, a machine for container holding okay. money. Very good. Dreams, paper, towels. All right. Dust, soil, or mold. Soil or mold. This is there. Mm -hmm. Designated, the order designated. Designated. Desi designated. Designated. Which one are you doing? Second. The second. The second one. The Third. Uh -huh. I the, found. Uh -huh. I, I well, we we found. A, a substance that makes something not clean. Right. So if I go like this on the table and I see something here, oh, we have dirt. Mm -hmm. So that means it's not clean. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, the pronunciation of number three is desin designated. 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 Yes. Designated. Yes. Designated. Yes. Dirt. 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 What's dirt. the meaning of dirt? What is the opposite? Suciedad. Sucio, limpio. Uh -huh, in English. Clean. <laughs> clean. Clean. Very good. Ah, clean. Okay. Dirt. Clean is the opposite of dirt. Mm -hmm. Good. Arrancado. Todo. Pero para qué? Por, por para el conocimiento o por qué? Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. I don't remember the the contracts, the word, the conjunctions. I I have a loose. Oh. I feel uh -huh. the same because I learned how to to pronounce some words and how to make some sentence and can make a conversation. But for I feel pretty uh, disappointed about myself because uh, sometimes I don't remember the conjunctions, the adverbs, so. I make a mistake, for example, I, I, my problem is with the past sentence. The I past always sentence. confuse the, the, for example, yeah, I was, uh, I need to use was, I, I, I use another expression. I know I need to use where, uh, I need another, I use another uh, expression. So I feel mm -hmm. pretty pretty disappointed about myself no but you, you guys are doing okay so you just need to practice more and you will activate all the knowledge that you have yeah mm -hmm. i i i think what samuel is is very good in in his comprehension mm -hmm. in in his lecture and i how do you say retardada, retrasada? I am behind. I am behind, pero así como dundita, teacher. Okay, uh, <laughs> no, you, you can also say behind. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you said, I'm a little bit behind. I, 
but I I am um, I feel behind, very behind, teacher. No, you you're doing okay, Stephanie. Honestly. Okay. You're doing okay. Okay, thank you. All right. But is the the substance? Yes. The substance. The third is what is the opposite of dirt? Clean. Clean, very good. Mm -hmm. And the next one is designed. Designed. Designated. 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 It's a verb. And to say officially that somebody, something All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is a synonym of dispenser? A synonym of dispenser? If I go to your house, do you have soap dispenser? Yes. Okay. A synonym, synonym could be a container. Yes, very good, very good. What about dirt? What is the opposite of dirt? Clean. 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 Uh, designated is the same meaning like in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Designado. Yeah. Okay. What about sink in number four? The depends. Could be a verb or a noun. Okay. If it's a verb? If, if a verb to go down or make something go down. Okay. If it's a noun? maybe a synonym is a bowl okay a bowl that we that we you can wash dish or, or or your hands for example okay so if when you go to the bathroom you wash your hands where do you wash your hands in a sink um, yes uh, how do you say sink? sink in spanish lavamanos lavamanos right but how do you say uh, como agua estancada it's not sink water uh, not necessarily. Okay, pensé que sink era como estancado. No, sink means hundirse, if it's a verb, but if it's a noun, it means lavamanos. Okay. And truly, what's the, what's the meaning of truly? Truly means completely. Completely. So when you go to the bathroom, you wash your hands truly. It means complete, complete. Okay. Okay, uh, any questions about today class? No. So Coralia never came, she never appeared. And Magdalena, she never appeared. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good, good night, teacher. Good night. See you later. Bye bye. Good night, good night. teacher. Bye. Don't forget that some of you have a special extra practice today. So see you later. See you. See you. Bye bye. Teacher. Yes, sir. Can you send a picture of the of the words? 
please sure. to the chat. Sure, I'll send them to the chat. Okay, thanks. All right, you're welcome. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Rocio. Hello, teacher. Teacher, did you work in Acedues? No, Acedues. What is Acedues? In academic in uh, Flor Blanca? No, never. No. Mm, okay. Did, did, did you study there? Yes. Okay. Yeah, 2012. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I have worked in different uh, institutions, but not that one. Mm, ¿Cómo se dice? Me parece conocido. De ahí. You, you look familiar. You look familiar. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and I see some of you guys, and I said, this person looks familiar from a, from a different place. But, <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. Rocio. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye.